Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Arjun. In our previous session, we have seen about compilation process of a C program. In today's session, we will see how to configure Vim Editor and how to write a simple C program that will print welcome message onto the screen. First, let's see how to configure Vim Editor. Fire up your Linux terminal and enter the command cd space tilde to navigate your home directory. After navigating to your home directory, create a new file named as .vimrc using vim editor. Just enter the command vim space .vimrc and press enter. Press i to enter into insert mode. Now type the config information that I have given in the below description. After copying all the config information, now press escape colon wq to save and exit from the editor. Finally, we have configured Vim editor. Now, we'll see how to write a simple C program that will print welcome message onto the screen. To do that, just enter the command vim space welcome.c. This will create a new .c file. Now, press i to enter into insert mode. From our previous sessions, we got to know that every C program should contain one main function because the execution of C program starts from a main function. So now let me write a main function. We already know that every function has a block of code which will be represented by a open and a closed for brackets. And if the function doesn't have any written statements, then the written type of the function will be void. Now I want to print a message onto the screen. So how can I do that? Do I need to write a display driver code in order to interact with the display? No, we don't need to write that because it is a complex code and that was already written by the creators of C language. Our task is just to use that code and to print message onto the screen. So in order to do that, we need to call a function called printf with a message that we want to print on the screen. In order to use printf, we need to include a standard header file called stdio.h, meaning standard input output, because the prototype of printf is present in stdio.h. In order to include this header file into our program, we need to use a preprocessor directive called hash include. If the header file name is enclosed in ankle brackets, then it is a standard header file. Let's see what does it contain. Exit from your Vim editor and navigate to slash user slash include. Just do ls to check whether stdio.h is present in this directory or not. If you notice here, stdio.h is present. Now open this. Now search for printf by pressing escape forward slash. If you notice, we have printf prototype here. Ok, let's navigate back to the directory where we have saved our .c file. Now enter the command gcc space filename.c. So welcome message printed onto the screen. Let's see a quick summary on what we have learned today. We have seen how to configure Vim Editor and which function we need to use in order to print message onto the screen and in which header file printf prototype is present and finally where this header file is located. That's all for this session. From our next session, we'll start diving into the concepts of C programming by seeing few real time examples while discussing each and every concept. Thank you for listening. See you later in next session.